Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Haley. if you're new here. And in today's video, as you read by the title, we're gonna be doing like a little chit chat, life update. I'm gonna go ahead and get ready for the day. I've already put on my top. This is come together top. I included, I'm pretty sure, in my summer haul from a few weeks ago. So definitely check out that video to find out where it's from and some other great finds that I picked up over the summer. So let's just go ahead and get started. I'm not gonna really be mentioning any of the products that I'm using. So check the description below. A lot of them will be listed there if you're interested to start off. I'm just gonna go ahead and put some setting spray. I'm definitely not a beauty guru, know how to do makeup, any of that stuff, but you already know that. As that's drying, let's start with topic number one, which is my summer. How has it been? I hope your summer has been well. My summer has been great. I've done a lot of traveling, packing, purging, cleaning, all the above, but I'm super excited for the fall, for the school year, for all that's coming up, and that's literally what today's video is about, is addressing what the fall is gonna look like, what this channel is gonna look like in the fall. Really exciting announcement that I'm gonna share in a few minutes with you. Yeah, that's kind of how my summer's been going. What's been your favorite part of your summer so far? I know it's like the end of July when you're seeing this, so I'm curious to know. Like, what have you been up to? Next, we hit three years on here, end of June, which is crazy to think about. You know, I've grown a ton in those three years and my content has very much as well. Thank you so much for your support. It means a ton to me. By the way, the sun's like going in and out. So the lighting is gonna change. So moving right along to the fun announcement that I know you all have been anxiously anticipating. I'm literally using the viewfinder. I have decided to do an internship for the fall. And I think this is going to be a great opportunity, great experience. It's within HR, which is, if you didn't know, I'm majoring in management, emphasis in HR, minor in psych, cause battery's about to die. Okay, continuing on on the iPhone, cause as you saw, the camera battery clearly died. Doing an internship, my major is in management. I have a minor in psychology and then emphasis in HR. It is going to be remote. I'm super excited to be doing that. Bring you guys along as much as I can. Just really like debriefing the whole experience, especially because through this whole process, which I'm gonna be making a whole like separate internship Q&A. So please leave questions down below if you have any questions about like how to find an internship. Cause I really started preparing for this, I guess like a year ago. Going on LinkedIn, fixing up my account, starting to connect with people, and then doing a lot of outreaching this past like December, January, and beyond. And so I learned a ton over the past six months of like what to do, especially with my unique situation. Internships, not co-ops that are done like in the fall or the spring are a lot harder to seek out or at least find in my case. I don't know if it's like that for all fields, but at least within my field, if it's not like a summer internship, it's not as easy to find or hear about. I'm going to answer all those kinds of things, explaining more of like the behind the scenes of how I got to where I am with having an internship in a few weeks. So leave the questions down below. I'll also make like a questions box on Instagram. So you can also leave them there if you want to. Now we're moving to powder. I'm going to keep it real basic today. And so with that, obviously normally I do a lot of like days in my life, week in my life, college advice, like things you should buy, productivity, a lot of stuff based on the fact that I'm in school taking classes and stuff. So with not doing that, I'm definitely going to have more of I guess, I don't even want to call it work from home, but like more day in the life of an intern or like that based content. So it's definitely going to kind of pivot that direction, which is good. I will be still graduating in May. I knew I was going to make this decision a little while ago. So I'm still graduating in May, 2023. I'm super excited to like finish up that final semester in the spring, but in the fall, I think this is going to be great. It'll give me some practical experience. I know a lot of people do like summer internships. Like I said, I just really want to do one in the fall. One being I had the opportunity to with having as many credits as I did. I just really wanted that like hands-on practical experience within the field that I'm obviously studying before I go out into like the professional workforce. That was my thought process. If you've ever had an HR internship, give me your advice, your tips. I'm gonna finish kind of powdering my face because it can get super oily. Another thing I wanted to talk about would be living in a house. So that's gonna be super fun for my senior year, especially working remotely, doing this remote internship. I'm gonna be spending a lot of time there. And also so as always, leave video suggestions down below. I'm trying to figure out, like I said, what I want to film for the fall. We'll be living in Clemson, so there's still some like overlap of like college stuff I'll be doing, but I just won't be like on campus taking classes. That is done. So mascara on. And I just wanted to do this like casually. Like I didn't think it deserved to have a whole crazy long sit down video. Just wanted to quickly catch up, see what you're doing, 
explain what my summer's been like, what the plan is for the fall. That's my announcement. I'm doing an internship, taking a gap semester to pursue that. You're doing like a co-op or whatever. You could probably relate. I know here on YouTube at least, I haven't had much luck of finding like HR intern related content. So I'm really hoping that I can like fill the gap if you are somebody who's in HR and wants to see that kind of thing. Cause I know that's something I've been trying to look for the past like a few months. And I'm also planning to do some more stuff like that also on TikTok. So excited to be sharing like the whole process that I went through because I feel like it's so unique. I learned so much about myself as not only a student, but just as a professional things that I'm glad that I navigated now versus in a year from now. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you learned a little bit. I am going to do a commuters like tips as a commuter and off campus housing guide, especially after my whole tobacco last year. I have so much that I want to let you guys in on, help you avoid those pitfalls that I've learned over the past few years moving to different off campus student complexes. So if you do have questions on like either one of those topics, also leave them down below because I'll be filming those very, very soon. So I want to make sure I address all the questions. Nothing's left unseen. And I know this is the time of the year when a lot of people are looking for those types of things related to like college school, what you should do, what you shouldn't do, what to look out for. So I want to be there to give you the tea on all of it. So, so fun chatting with you guys. I did my makeup, but until next time, I will catch you guys on the flip side. See you guys next Sunday. Bye guys.